And of course, you're dancing when I come back. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, fucking human. <laughs> All right, so this quest is over this way. At least I don't do the cabbage patch. You fucking hey, you know what? weirdo. You know what? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, so this one we only have normal because neither one of us has done it yet. <laughs> Sad day. Dust and mold fill this ill-maintained storehouse. You can hear the telltale spittering spider. and burning nearby. We must kill the spider. And don't be jealous of my Azamarness. <laughs> my potion. You know, I wonder what dance the um tiefling do. Um, I don't remember. I don't think I've danced as a tiefling yet. I'm actually legitimately curious. Uh, in, in a bit, I'll walk onto my tiefling and show you. Because <laughs> actually, door. I actually do have a tiefling. <laughs> Spider goes gish, and surprisingly, two hits. Shit, that spider exploded. Yeah, no, these aren't very strong creatures. Because, you know. Well, no, it literally got frozen and exploded. But yeah, no, the creatures in here aren't very strong because, you know, we're, we're, we're weak as hell. Uh. <laughs> Level this one appears to be the main story. It seems the villagers have been preparing for a protracted See? Sleep. Exploding spiders! I don't work the regular spiders. A large silver key. Okay, don't break it. Don't break up that key yet. Yeah. What's it going to do? Just wanted to break things. Yep, just break shit. Ooh. Break shit, Neat. pick up whatever you find. I found a poison to resist cold. No, poison. Uh, <laughs> a poison potion. to resist cold, yes. <laughs> potion. That's what I meant. Yes, you won't be affected by the cold, but you will die. Oh god, I'm lagged. A Sarhagen emerges from a <laughs> hidden passage demanding the key. You mustn't let the scrolls fall into devour hands. Kill rats. Potion resist electricity. See what's funny oh. the, What's funny is as a cleric, my uh, smite is actually better than a paladin's. Because I uh, don't have a limit on how many times I can use it. <laughs> huh. Seems kind of... Oh, there was a chest back there. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, there's a chest Where's back the there. Chest? Uh, in, in the open wall. Oh, cool. It has stuff in it. Gave me a stick. <laughs> Which Ooh, I would use me an, if I was so He gave me a hundred masterwork shuriken. Ooh. Those are useful because you can totally use a shuriken. <laughs> and a heavy an axiomatic heavy mace of vertigo. Oh, nice. That one you can actually use because it's it's the right level for you. <clears throat> Aw, but I get a minus four on the shuriken because... Because you're not proficient. Yeah. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, that's exotic weapon proficiency. Um, but I'm gonna put on my new mace. I don't know, what's fun is being a uh, Warforged Paladin. Because they actually get a uh, special... Um, they have a special god. That only they have, and it's kind of cool. Really, they have the door okay, that swings open. Kind of makes sense. The yeah, they have the Lord of Blades. Can be moved and rotate. Oh, fun! Yeah, yeah, he is their god. 
Yeah. Oh, not that. Oh yeah, no, oh. the this part I'm leaving. <laughs> Trust me, this this is this is a super easy puzzle. Um, there are a lot of them later on that are tough as fucking hell. It pisses me off. Um. But yeah, so pretty much. Boom, boom. If I remember correctly. No, that's right. We gotta do it this way. The protective spell dissipates. All that remains now is to Thank you. And, and this one, it's actually faster to walk out the door. Because <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. Now we come back and talk to Linus. I'm trying to remember which one. The Linus. Ooh. Do the zoo. Agile felt. Yeah. Plus one of my reflex saves. Eh. Uh, plus one of fortitude. Lesser false life, which. Just gives me extra health, which yeah, is neat. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the rugged. Cause you know, mm. health. I think that's um. Did which one I? Oh, I went the uh, girdle of girdle of lesser fortitude, cause. Health isn't something I really worry about. <laughs> yeah. Like, ever. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, I'm lagging again. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, now you talk to this guy here. Right, the guy said no. Look, proof that the world is not flat. I'm moving while I jump. <laughs> and his quest is right here. Convenient. Which, again, we don't have any of the harder difficulties. Ahead is the cellar um, where the Caneth crystal. Which I actually do recommend that we go through all of them on the harder difficulties. Um, mm hmm. Just because it's more experience. You can feel the life-saving heat emanating from the magic crystal <laughs> Baldar spoke of. But from the shadows approach those who would doom Korthos by destroying. <laughs> You're holding a sword. I'm holding a bludgeoning instrument that will cave faces. Mm -hmm. Which, funny enough, I'm used to the cleric being the one with the maces. What does Vertigo even do in this game? Um... It, like, it gives them, um, disadvantage on their, or, like, it, it lowers their reflex save or something like that. Um, which is good if you use, like, trip. Which mm -hmm. I think is, like, number two or number three on your hotbar there. Three. Yeah. I don't care if a buddy of mine is playing Conan Exiles right now. <laughs> I'm beating people with a giant mace! See, I don't even have those turned on. It tells me nothing. I really should turn that stuff off. All of the dead bodies. I'll show you a dead body. Yeah, it's right there at our feet. Ah! So, if I remember correctly, there is actually flanking in this. Um, cool. I think it adds like a plus two to your, your damage roll or something. I don't remember. I smited. <laughs> huh? I smited. Yeah, 
Yeah, my doesn't my, sound pleasant. See, it's just like you know, because I'm a cleric, my smite is like a million times better than a normal paladin smite. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, and it's like <laughs> you know, paladins are just, like have limited use of their smite, but then as a cleric, I can use my smite no matter what. <laughs> It just yours says, is an at will, and theirs is a, like a per day kind of thing. Um, kind of. You have slain the last um, the way theirs was done the is crystal and saving Korthos. because uh, like the cleric smite is actually a fairly new feature. Um, at least new to me, I couldn't tell you when it was I'm added. Bored. I'm gonna look at the painting. Yeah, it just tells you about it. <laughs> as this is pretty much the city before I got ravaged by an ice dragon. Mm -hmm. Hero, it is on the people's lips as you walk by. Cautious looks have become friendly nods. Then word comes that your presence is requested in the tavern. Ooh, they want me to go to the tavern. Assistant. Which that would seem more like a you thing. Yeah, I took the Spearbane. Um, because the Sahagan use spears and they're what a lot of the enemies on this island are. Uh, yeah, okay, that actually makes sense. Because the other one I think is Axebane. And yeah. there's not a lot that actually uses slashing weapons. Much uh, less axes at all. Well, it's just the it's the damage typing. Um, it just sounds cooler the, to say Axe Bane than Slashing Bane. Um, just like it and, sounds cooler to say Spear Bane than Piercing Bane. Uh, <laughs> and also faster. Yeah. So, alright, so now we go back up to the tavern. Booze! I wish. <laughs> just, that's the D&D &D game. People just sit here and get drunk off their asses. Sigmund Bowerson. So yeah, you just hit ready as I'll ever be on the second screen. And then we enter. Yeah, you're here. Is your last name Stormcutter? Really? Your waiting bears fruit. There's a cool last this name I could think of. Collaborator stepping in from the dark. Why are you working for the Swahagen? That's funny. He thinks these guys. I'm sorry. The fucking what? Huh? How the dude just like went up in dust? Oh yeah, that's what an axiomatic does. If they're evil, there's a chance that they just kind of like disintegrate. <laughs> awesome. No, what's like my favorite weapon that I've ever found is actually on my. Uh... Uh, on my artificer, it's a Vorpal Your heavy repeating crossbow. Pours, but you hear more of them gathering outside for uh, a there's a chest over here behind the uh... bar. Mm -hmm. You notice a small chest hidden behind the bar. Ooh, a nullified heavy crossbow. I'm not a I'm not a crossbow user in this character. Oh, <laughs> hmm. a glaciated orb of transmutation. You're not a caster. <laughs> no, but I could still sell it. Mm hmm And get a decent amount out of it. I think they're immune to the axiomatic part of my hammer. No, they're not. Because they're all evil characters. Oh. You have weathered the South Wagon storm. Now, <laughs> after that traitorous Jacoby Drexel hand, he must have fled into the cellar. Where's the door to the cellar? Drexel hand isn't it's over on the right hand side. However, oh. webbed footprints okay. on the ground betray the location of a secret there you passage. Are. Backtracking them may reveal the way to open that passage. The chamber beyond the secret passage. It's actually a really easy one to search for, but village. <laughs> knowing that the thing is there makes it so much easier. Uh, ooh, I got a devoted orb. Ooh, <laughs> I got an anarch dagger. Yeah, which uh, would more, oh, 
if you weren't lawful good, that would actually be a really good weapon for you. Oh, trust me, if I ever get the chance, I am <coughs> so changing my ass. You won't my be goddamn a- alignment. You <laughs> won't be able to change your alignment with this character. At least I don't think you will. Um, there might be a weapon or a uh, item you can buy in the DDO shop that lets you do it, but yeah. And if it was a longsword, I would totally take it from you, but because I'm chaotic. It's a dagger. <laughs> it, unfortunately, it's a dagger. Yeah. I'm draining. Seriously, the hell? That noise. The hell's what noise? It sounds like a loud creature just bellowing. Don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. You're fine. Ooh, a club of fire lore. A resident staff. Quarter staff of necromancy. See, again, like, there's actually a, there, one of the gods that you can use as a cleric or a paladin or a favorite soul. Gives you quarter staff proficiency. I just hardly ever take that. Also, I got another like hundred shuriken. There's nowhere left to run off. Finish the job. Get smote. Good chat. <laughs> Deflecting three belt of swim two. Oh, what'd you get? A smoldering, smoldering great axe of peanut. <laughs> nice. That is actually a weapon you should use. But the funny part is, hmm. My baby. <laughs> I love how it's a two-handed weapon, but it shows me walking around with it in one. Yeah, you hold it in one hand. When you swing it, it goes to two. Ah. Uh -huh. Alrighty, so now we finish. And now we play the wing game. God, your ass took hits. Yeah, that happens. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Ooh, and we can level up. Mm hmm By talking, I'm guessing, to our... To the trainer uh, guy. Yeah. And saying, I'm ready to level up. Yeah, no, he did. Oh, that nigga did. And he... Ooh, a scimitar. Longsword. Hand wrappings, which don't matter. Another great axe. Great crossbow. Rapier. Mace. Your and a discarded ring. Made the village what much does the ring safer, do? But only temporarily. It's time to take the fight to the Nothing sun. Nothing good for me. Out in the wilds of Corthos Island. So, Amatar. Ooh, it gives me a plus three to swim. And a plus three to jump. And body feeder. Whenever a body feeder weapon you wield for a critical hit, you gain 15 temporary hit points that last up to less for up to one minute. Okay, I'm, can I say this? Hmm. I like this Amatar. <laughs> so you should take it. I mean, yes, it does less damage than my sword, than the axe, but <coughs> I have HP. <laughs> Can you really blame me for wanting temp HP? And I have to go sell shit, dude. Well, there's a bartender right there. Yeah. First, I'm going to put my new stabby toy on. Um, just make sure that anything you want to keep, you lock. Um, right. Which, in order to do that, you just um, click on it in your inventory. And then there's a little lock icon at the bottom right of the inventory screen. Yep, nope. Got it. I'm going to keep the shurikens, because... I may want to screw around with those at some point, you know? And I have 200 of the damn things. Everything else can you. <coughs> and this quest here, I don't recommend doing. Because mm -hmm. it just 
it's just telling you how you can buy shit from the shop. Um, which, if oh. with how long you've been a gamer, if you don't know how to do that, then you're just done. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you legitimately don't know how to buy things from a sh use a shop, then um, yeah, screw off. Advance to the next level is cleric. You know, I'm gonna keep the axiomatic because that was funny. <laughs> Just smack. Yeah. Oof, I'm like, the fuck? Oh, yeah, no, this is the effect of axiomatic weapons. Domain of <laughs> death. Okay, do I want to be death domain or do I want to be. I forget what domain of character. Clear, uh, chaos is. Chaos is strength in your mind in unusual ways. When you turn undead, you and your party gain a random bonus to spell power, melee power, range power, as well as physical and magical resistance. <laughs> By the way, you know what I find hilarious about the game is? Hmm. Even the game wants nothing to do with, um, Electrum. Oh, yeah. No, no one uses Electrum. <laughs> Electrum? What the hell's that? Electrum is halfway between silver and gold. And fun part is because... <laughs> wait. Could I... Yes! I did a dumb! I think. You did a I dumb? Have my mace, I have my mace in one hand and my scimitar in the other. I'm dual wielding! Do I think it's a good idea? Maybe. Um, depending on your deck score, you can actually uh, get some pretty good shit later on with that. Tune to the forces of magic. You get a plus one bonus on to invocation DCs. Yeah. So if I wanted to change out of the ones I had, I'd choose the second option, right? Hmm? If I wanted to change what I did for path wise, I would do the um I would like to choose my own I'd like to make my own choice thing. I believe so. Or it's just screw this, I'm sticking with what I got. Honestly, I'm just gonna stick with what I got. Okay, Corona, do I wanna go domain of chaos, domain of death, or domain of war? War. I've seen what wars can do in five E. I'm pretty sure they're not much it's actually, in... it's a lot different in uh, in three point five. Uh, <laughs> domain of death is fun though. <laughs> so pretty much the way I'll it works see. is so, when I turn on dead, when I use my turn on dead ability, it counts it as two levels higher. <laughs> so at level two, I count as a level four <laughs> for turning on dead purposes. <laughs> Mm. Which means all the undead in this place would just shatter. <laughs> Dude. But Domain of Chaos can be a lot of fun because when I turn undead, it gives us a random it gives us random buffs. <laughs> um no, the funniest thing I'm ever gonna do is if I get a, I think a warlock high enough level to use finger of death literally it'll just be my character flipping them off um yeah you can do that <laughs> <laughs> it's like it said finger of death it didn't say which finger oh god I can take domain of strength and give myself a plus two to strength <laughs> Ooh, human adaptability I have plus one to a, an ability score of your choice. <laughs> There's so many fun domains I can take. <laughs> I just don't know what I want to take. I don't know. <laughs> I really like the domain of cleric. It's just like, yeah, no, it does stuff. We're not sure. <laughs> What's that? Wild magic cleric? Sure. 
<laughs> that is the last kind of wild magic you ever want to see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Charisma? No. Oh, wait. I need to be level four. Never mind. That's gross. See, and there's actually a lot more cleric domains in this than there are in 5e. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and there are a lot of cleric domains in 5e. <laughs> Yeah, no, like, one person I played with in Tyranny Dragons had made a war domain cleric, and mm -hmm. 90 po did 90 points to a dragon. Oh, yeah, no, war domain is insane in 5e. It's actually my favorite way to play a cleric in 5e. Mm -hmm. um, yay. I decided to go death domain, because, you know, why not? I know I should have a shield in my offhand for now, but eh. You know what? Until I know my dex is high enough for this to be a legitimate and good idea, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, I'm setting myself up to get hurt. Eventually, I do want to just sit there and just be an ass as a fighter. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> just chuck shuriken at people like, fighter chuck a shuriken at me. I don't do it like this. Also, apparently, there's fish etched onto my sword, so. Yeah. You have fish etched onto your sword? Yeah, no, literally, I sat here for a second and read part of the description of the Fintan's Bite. And it says, a curved sword with a keen edge. This scimitar has a hilt engraved with images of salmon and hazelnuts. There's Fitch etched onto my sword. Which, I mean, I guess that's where the bonuses come from. <laughs> No, I don't know how salmon and getting crits to in order to, you know. Oh, that's right. Clerics also get their domain sooner than fighters get um, their subclasses. Yeah, it also works a little differently in this. Um, yeah. Because pretty much in this, doing your subclass is um, what you spend action points on. Right, which for me is Kent saying stalwart. Right. <clears throat> right, let's go talk to... The Ursa mayor. Turns... Okay. So he gives us a quest. We have to go save his daughter. Yeah. I'm sorry. Do either of us look like Link and or Mario? I mean... I could make Link. I've thought about it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you talk to that bitch, get her quest. Then we come running this way. And we go out here. Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry, is that a frost spider? It was, yes. Can I say something? No. <laughs> Too bad I'm going to say it anyway. Kill it with fire! I have fire. <laughs> oh yeah, and your sword. <laughs> so now we're going to pick up this guy's quest, because it's right here. And along the way. <laughs> no, it's literally right here. Event? Steam billows mm -hmm. from a hidden entrance to an underground complex. Little bitches, get eaten. The only downside is I don't get the temp health unless I get a critical hit. Yeah. 
drink, Ozzy. The air grows damp and fetid as the ancient <laughs> Does that happen? descends. <laughs> uh, it can actually happen quite a bit. How dare you call friends? You don't see me calling friends. Jerk. Break a box. I'm gonna break all your crap because of that. Huh? How does that make you feel? Ah! Demon! Method! Isn't a method basically the same thing as an imp? Yeah. <laughs> See, I had I actually had been just flat out wondering that I was like splits here. Which way to the giant ish device? Uh, giant ish. As in they are unsure about the size. If I remember correctly, it doesn't matter which way you go. You end up at it anyway? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool! <laughs> Guess what kicked off? Your extra health points? Yes! Well, I like how at first level we were like pretty, we were pretty close on uh, <laughs> on hit points, and now you're like 30 hit points higher than I am. <laughs> Warns you that and, mo you and half of it is because of this goddamn sword. Careful, you may be able to take the sleeping guards by surprise. I'm sorry, do we look like rogues? I mean, if I had chosen Artificer, yes, I would. Fair enough. Rogues, or as I like to call them, the stinky stabby boys. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong by calling them that? The last Sahagin guard collapses to the floor. But what are they guarding? Give me your money. Extravagant gong in this room looks capable of truly ear shattering noise. I'm gonna hit it. With the gong's reverberations, you hear a slight rumble from the large <laughs> room. But then it stops. The second strike of the gong produces the telltale sound of crack. <laughs> You know what the worst part is? Hmm. I kind of figured that was the case. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I took fall damage. Not fall damage. It's terrible. Oh, fuck, that's right. You actually have to use the Ring of Water Breathing. Totally not worth it. How do you live being a squishy person? <laughs> oh, cool. Huh. Apparently that ability has kicked off at least twice now. Nice. Because I have 15 more. Um... You spot a rusty hatch submerged in the putrid water. Yeah, be careful not to grab onto this ladder. <laughs> God damn it. You emerge from the murky water with great relief. The air seems slightly cooler here. I found I'm... a door. Yeah, I see that. Die, potatoes! Oh, Want to see where this leads? Right back where we were. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I literally just like just for the joke and because I had the temp HP to buffer it's like <laughs> God damn it. Wee <laughs> The temperature plunges as you ford ahead. The giantish device must be near. <laughs> All right, We're breaking your stuff. What's and in this we box? don't care. That's a trap. You're a trap. Ooh, expeditious boots. Yeah, you have to set them to a hot bar in order to use them. And they just give you a temporary expeditious retreat. Oh. Spider! Money? Ahead is the giantish device. The freezing mists it is spewing are directed the wrong way. With the right timing, you can get close enough to redirect them. Help. Oh, look, frozen idiot. So, yeah. Look what's back there. Oof. Okay. <laughs> Can you see it? I'm trying to, but... Um... Oh. As a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> that is an ice giant. <laughs> are we supposed to go fight that? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we are not high enough level to fight that. <laughs> No, we are in fact not fighting that. The mist solidifies into ice over the ancient creature, but it's not enough. You need both jets to affect the okay, thing. So... Oh, okay, so we. Yeah, you're finishing it the wrong way. I realize this now. So, here, hang on. I actually know how to do this one. <laughs> hey. So. A layer of ice forms over the oh. ancient creature, guaranteeing its slumber. Korthos is safe. And then we for finish. Now. You're a frosty jack off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. We're not fighting that. <laughs> there there will be no fighting of the ice giant right now. <laughs> yeah, I only you know what the one thing I threatened my when I the few times I DM'd, you know what my run on running threat was to my players if they kept pissing me off? Ice giant? No, I was gonna threaten to fight drop a uh God damn it, now I forgot the name of it. Literally, is sometimes jokingly considered a divine weapon from the gods. CR yeah. like 30 creature. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Tarask? Yes! Yeah, I threatened to drop a Tarask on them. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not that mean. I'll just send them up against a false Hydra. Um... No, where's, no, the funniest part is... Guess what I listed it as in my in my um in my sheets. Hmm. End game protocol. <laughs> the players must die. No, they <laughs> piss me off. I end the game by dropping a Tarask on them. <laughs> See, I wouldn't just drop a Tarask on them. I would let them fight it. Oh no, I just I use drop as um pretty much terminology for that. Mm -hmm. No, if I wanted to be an ass and squish him with, with a Tarask, yeah, no. Suddenly, a Tarask pops out done. of the ground in front of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> and for some reason, as it talked, it sounded like Sans from Undertale. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go with the regular helmet. Yeah, I'm getting the cowl. Because it increases my con 
or my concentration. Yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> and I have a hat. Uh, so if you want your helmet to show um, over on the side there, on the right-hand side of your inventory screen where it shows the the character there, you click on the very top of it. There we go. <clears throat> Moving right along. Do, 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 do. Stabbing all of who who nee, 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 nee. I mean I'm not wrong. <laughs> this is funny, you think this hurts. <laughs> Well, I mean, it would if you were a wizard. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Especially considering, you know, the on-running joke with those is dies of 1d4 or something damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at level 1, when the max hit points you can have is freaking 14. Yeah. <laughs> or max hit point you can have is 8. <laughs> Not 14. <laughs> Yeah. Unless you chose a race that gets a con boost for a wizard. <laughs> Which, if you're doing yeah. that, why? Are you planning on playing War Mage? If you were gonna, if you were gonna do that, you might as well have just a had been a friggin' leads to an old war cleric, damn it. <laughs> right? Well, no, war mages actually can be a lot better than a war cleric. Um, war cleric just had better one of the start, where decades ago, whereas uh, war mage, life into the it takes a bit for them to actually get good. The work looks very recent. <clears throat> but uh, you get my point. It's like, if you're just going to do high con, just, you could have been a cleric. See, in this area right here is where having a uh, artificer would come in handy. <laughs> because of all the freaking traps. That or a rogue. Yeah, but I don't like rogues. I used one of the valves. <laughs> Stupid puppy. <laughs> did the dog actually run into the trap? It did. Oh that my god, my dog. search is high enough to find this crap. That is amazing. As you twist the second valve closed, the hissing stops. Yes, yeah, the poisonous hissing. That would actually be another fun race to play in, uh... Hmm. What would? Yeah. Yanti. Uh, I mean... Eh. You actually can. Um, uh, my brain was thinking of, um... For, um... What you want to call it? Um, Baldur's Gate. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I I don't even know if like I'm hoping that they at least include all of the uh, um, all of the players handbook races. <laughs> at least. No, um, I will say now. If they at any point have one of the DLCs be like, oh, we had all the stuff from Volo, I'm like, I'd be going, hell yeah, I can play Goliath. Just happy to be able to play a Goliath. With compressed energy. Sorry, but lizard folk. <laughs> you hope you I mean, hey, then you don't have to worry about food. You can just eat the corpses of your enemies. <laughs> is, is that not what we're supposed to do anyways? 
<laughs> eh? I feel like I'm sitting here recording that. and we're straight up talking about like every other game imaginable. <laughs> Well, it doesn't help that coat these humming painted power crystals in a heart upon turning the valve. You hear a definite alteration in the pitch of the hiss. Doesn't help that what? Well, Baldur's is kind of um, relevant to current situation since it's out in um, early access. Oh well, yeah, but I mean it's still like, yeah, no, we're playing this game, but we're not talking about it. <laughs> this game's not important. Who cares about it? Without the alchemical jets coating the painted power crystals, you can now easily destroy them. As the last crystal shatters, the hum of power slowly fades into a heavy silence. <laughs> we disabled that barrier from earlier, didn't we? Yeah, the one over there. And I also, wish I could, I wish I could pick locks, because I would open this door. the one thing I liked about the actual game is hmm. we can say Scrooge just smashed it. Yeah. Although there's no guarantee that would work, so. My mace would prove otherwise. As you've bent the door so much that it will not open even if you were to pick the lock. <laughs> Who in the flame are you? What's up? We're hey. here to help. What's up? I'm a dude. Oh, no. I'm a so dude. Found me. Oh, no. oh, God damn it. Would devour a magic. The Sahagin have followed you in and are attacking. Spiders! I don't know if we're supposed to keep him alive yet. What does his ass do? Jumps right into the fray. Yeah. Well, what's even worse is he is a they wizard. Are. Actually, I think he's an artificer, but I would probably say artificer due to the fact that, that you know, amalgam. Oh, that doesn't mean anything. I think is a warforge, isn't he? Yeah, amalgam's a warforge, but that doesn't mean anything. No, totally doesn't. I walk away from two seconds and more Saha can pop up. What the hell, man? Because, I mean, even wizards can be, uh, can be Warforged healers. Oh, yeah. Because With the ray spells. Huh? With the ray spells. Well, yeah, because they can get repair, dam repair damage and repair moderate damage and repair serious damage and... Hagen get your scent. They won't stop until you're dead. <laughs> I'm just sitting here we might having fun with Body this. Feeder. <laughs> for a little longer. I'm sorry, but I'm actually glad I picked this sword. Which sword is that? Um, Finton's Bite. Mm. The Swahagan magic is gone. We beat them off. This time. This time. Finton looks weary <laughs> after surviving this. They don't stop attack. until you're dead. Perhaps oh, hey, they stopped. Talk to him again. <laughs> Go now. Tell Ursa to hold the barricade just a little longer. Then meet Amalgam at the base of Misery's Peak when you're ready. Oh. There's a chest over here. The people of Corthos might finally win their struggle. Ooh. A chest I can get behind. Cool. I got an insulated tower shield of, um... Yeah, but you can't use Light. tower shields correctly. Can't? You have tower tower it's, shield proficiency? 
Yes. Why did you take tower shit? <laughs> I didn't. It was just one of the ones it gave me. Oh, that's right. You're a uh, you're a built class. <laughs> yeah, and also, yeah, no, not. I really kind of don't want to use it because hmm. arm check penalty minus nine and attack penalty minus two. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Well, let's finish out. It's like it's a nice shield. <laughs> But these penalties, no. Yeah. <laughs> a mangled sewer grate leads to an old abandoned Kamif manufacturing. More so Hawaiian. Can I just say these guys respawn pretty well? Well, I mean, we technically left the wilderness area and came back into it, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, giant rats. What? Where? Are following you. <laughs> well, I got a body feeder off a rat. I feel so Well, happy. yeah, of course. Oh, cool. Slayed 25 inhabitants. I met. Oh, yeah, at this point, I'm just following you. Yeah. You know what the hell you're doing. I, I'm... <laughs> well, more than I do. You have a lot of faith in me. <laughs> and... Yeah, I have about as much faith as I... Okay, that was weird. Huh. You stopped moving, and then you teleported across the bridge. Yeah, I lagged. No. The only thing that's sad is the fact that the my temporary hit points only last for a minute. I'm actually looking for our next quest because we have another quest out here. Oh, um, would it be the yellow arrow pointing that way? No. Okay. No, that is not the next quest. <laughs> right, the second half of a turn on dead, they don't agree, they die. <laughs> well, you know, that's why being a death domain cleric is fucking brilliant. I thought that was just normal. No. Oh. <laughs> no, because normally, like, they would have been, um... They would have been just, uh, stunned for, for a bit. Mm-hmm. But because I'm death domain, I do that this two levels higher. Down into an oh, there's shit shooting at us. You there, stop your tomfoolery. I'll have to hey, put on my hey, fighting Mr. trousers. Staple. I stab you. <laughs> I shoot you. And then I smite thee. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, also, funniest idea. Taking mm. a longbow, taking a short sword, and using the short sword as an arrow. What do you mean it's blocked? <laughs> it straight up told me I can't enter because it's blocked. Like, what? <laughs> really? Yeah. I think it's because you were standing right next to me. <laughs> That's weird. It happens. Spider! Kill it with extreme prejudice and then collect the money from its corpse? No, there, it was money right next to its corpse. Oh. Okay. Kill the spiders! <laughs> For all we know, they could be brown recluses, and we don't want to get bit by those! Nor do we wish to be bit by zombie Nazis. Fair the enough. worst kind of Nazi. Resilient spider web. And Why the worst that? kind of zombie. They don't look capable of withstanding blows from your weapon, though. <laughs> the 
The cells in this room hold a number of desperate Korthos villagers. The hell are you throwing? Him? Yeah, I saw you like you were standing there, and like little things get flying at him. Like the hell was that? Oh, that's uh, that's one of my spells. Oh. But devour minion misses you. Devour minion misses you. Of course it misses me. What the hell did I just open? Hey, buddy. So confused. Oh, mm. I opened this. So there's actually a bonus mm -hmm. for saving all these prisoners. Ah. Which, where did you go? Over here. Oh, you started going down. Think. Okay, there's three more prisoners over here. To save. Should I pull the lever? You don't need to. Okay. You're free, silly people. Everything. I'm pretty sure everything back to the village is dead. <laughs> Maybe at least ninety percent of it, or so. Still at 10%. Stuff we Ow. ignored. <laughs> That's why you jump up there and miss. I jump up there and somehow succeed. Yeah, my jump isn't all that great. See, I'm also having more fun, though, because I'm fighting things. Potion of Cure Light Wounds. That'll come in handy. <laughs> yep. Which, speaking of which, I need to buy some of those when we get back to the village. How can you tell my character is white? He's got no hops. Oh, you know what that sound is? That's when we get a mm -hmm. bonus. <laughs> Yeah, no, standing in the middle of the trap is not a good thing to do. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not like Neverwinter where it's like, oh yeah, no, you're, you've got an injury. <laughs> you're Here it's like, oh, you took damage. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will say, I, I've always preferred this... Uh, this D and D MMO to Neverwinter. <laughs> yeah. You have breached the like this one is just so much more fun. From ahead, you hear a woman's plaintive cry for help. Also, it feels a little more. It feels more D and D. Uh, oh yeah, especially since like the little die pops up when you attack. Oh yeah. Which is neat. I opened the thing. Okay, we can go down that way later. Um, once we're done up here. Okay. Ooh. Uh, Sybaris Dragon Shard Fragment. Nice. Free to go. Get the hell out of here. 
Run. The last imprisoned village grasps your outstretched hand. All right. Rising now we're going to go down that freedom. way. Because all of these bonuses tonight. have already been given to us, not but there are other optional item, um, uh, optional quests we can do down this way. Okay. Well, one. I uh, killing his stupid ass. Yeah. I could have sworn there was more down this way. The evil cult leader will spill innocent blood no more. Ooh. Plus one shocking one sort sort of diversion. Aww. Huh. Oh, I got a dwarven axe of shatter. And you can't even use it. <laughs> Stupid exotic weapon efficiency. Alright, so now we finish. I swear that that's the one thing that's gonna kick my ass with the good toys is like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, you don't have a exotic weapon proficiency. Well, I'm like that's why like sometimes being a specific place is actually this really entrance good. leads down into an ancient camp. Because it bypasses that shit. Yeah, like you automatically get dwarven axe proficiency if you're a dwarf. All right, so now we're just going to uh, recall. Which button's that again? Same as where the finish button is. Although you're being attacked. Alright, now we recall. Friggin' Orgrim rodents. Burn your place! Stupid R-O-U-S's. Your finding Hayton transformed the village. It seems as if all of Corthos were holding out for news of your next great victory with bated breath. Of course, what I hate. Spike. What oh, I hate. I'm not. I'm not done with her, so that doesn't matter. Oh, cool! A cloak that pretty much gives me feather fall. Mm -hmm. Except it's another one that you have to activate. Uh... There's a curative cloak and the cloak of faith. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab the cloak of the feather cloak because that just actually sounds funner. It looks better too. Um, later yeah. on, we'll actually get a good cloak. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, a cloak that actually just does feather fall instead of having to activate it, but for now, mm. this one's good. And I gotta say, I kind of just want to hop on my Artificer and take you through rampaging through shit. Mm. <laughs> like, I'm so tempted to just do that. Dude, if you want to, I would have no problem. Because <laughs> he's kind of a beast. But for now, I'm going to stop recording here.